Hey guys, it's your girl JDK coming at you guys with another video. Um, this particular video is just going to be about how I revamped my uh, U-part wig. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you guys this U-part wig that I made. So this hair is two and a half years old. I purchased this hair off of Alibaba.com. The vendor is called Ideal Hair Arts. And originally um, I had this hair as a sew-in. Uh, when I took that hair, this hair out, I uh, turned them into clip-ins and then eventually, um, after I had my son, my hair started to really fall out really, really bad and it started to really break. So I ended up having to take those clip-ins apart and do and make a U-part wig so that I could kind of give my hair a little breather. So, um, I bent, I, sorry, originally I wanted it to be a clip-in wig so that I could take it on and off so I could care my hair, but I ended up having to go away on vacation and, um, I needed to, I forgot that I didn't sew in the clips on it. So when it came time for me to leave, I kind of was like, oh shoot, they're not in and I didn't have time. So I had to sew it on directly to my head. So again, I just wanted to show you guys this hair, like just to show you guys and give you guys an idea that, an idea that, you know, sometimes if you don't have the money to go out and buy you know three hundred dollar hair like some people that doesn't mean that you can't get decent quality hair i mean it's gonna take it's gonna be a little bit um it's gonna take a little bit more time and it's gonna you know gonna take a little bit more effort as opposed to going and buying you know two hundred dollar hair where you know it's at least gonna it's gonna last you a while or you know it's gonna be a certain quality but when you go on alibaba yeah it does take a little bit more work but you can find decent hair like again this hair is two years two and a half years old and this is it's probably about three quarters dry um i just air dry air dried it and um again two years old this hair it's not the best quality but for the amount that i paid for it it's um, it's definitely worth it. I think I definitely got more than my money's worth. So again, this is the hair. So with that being said, the reason for me showing you that hair was to show you this hair. This is Saga hair that I purchased from the beauty supply store. I know you guys are probably like, oh, what is that? That looks like a mop. Yeah, my sentiments exactly. So this is Saga hair that I purchased from the beauty supply store. I had this hair in for three weeks. Okay. Three weeks and that's it. Originally, I made them into clip-ins and the clip-ins were nice and all, but I just found that um, the texture of the hair and my hair, I wanted something that would have a little bit of curl, but it didn't match my natural hair because my hair is natural and it didn't match my texture and I didn't want to have to press out my hair with this type of style. So um, I ended up just doing it like this so that I could have a little bit of leave out and it would be a little bit more natural looking. So I kept this in for about three, three and a half weeks. And this is the hair. This is the cause of going out one night without homing it. Again, I, every night, I am a type of person, I care for my hair. I wear a silk bonnet on my hair. For my natural hair, I wear a silk scarf, a uh, silk scarf, sorry. So I care for my hair so the fact that this looks like this after three and a half weeks to me is ridiculous especially for you know the fact that they say this is 100 percent human hair the price the cost that comes with this and for your hair to be matting like this after three weeks i mean to me that's completely ridiculous so i'm just gonna take it off the mannequin head to show you guys the back of it like this is from one night of going out and not combing it and this hair doesn't reflect my night. Like, I was just doing a one-two step, wasn't sweating, wasn't, you know what I'm saying, getting crazy in the club or anything like that. This is just from a one-two step, and that's it. Like, this, to me, is completely unacceptable um, for human hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and revamp this hair. So originally it was a middle part. I'm going to turn it into a side part and I think I'm going to cut it shorter because again, I think once maybe if I take off a little bit of the length, it'll be a little bit easier to manage. So uh, in order for me to do that, what I do is I take a plastic bag and um, I take this, which is like heaven, like it's one of those, oh moments I use this every week on my hair so what I do is I just take a little bit of this and I put it into a bowl or I depending on if I have enough time I just take it in my hand and I work it through I finger it through the hair um so again I just take a little bit and I just literally just finger it through the hair um especially like the matted parts and towards the end 
Then I take a little bit of this, which is 100% natural, pure coconut oil. And I do the same thing. I pour a little bit out and I work it through the hair. And then I put it in the plastic bag and I put it in the microwave for two minutes. And um, and then when, it, when I take it out, then I normally just comb it out and let it air dry. So in this case, I'm going to let it air dry and then I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to come back to you guys and show you guys what it looked like after. Okay? Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm back. This is what the hair looks like finished. Um, it took literally like probably about two to three hours to comb that you part you part wig out like it was ridiculous the back of it was matted like event what i wanted to do with it was like cut it to maybe about like here um but because the back was so matted like i tried everything i tried my you know my concoction to try and get it detangled i tried let it sit in it i put it in the microwave it still wouldn't detangle so I just was like, you know what, I'm just going to cut it. And my head took me and I just cut it. So, I mean, it's not finished yet. And it's a little bit hard because it's curvy. So, again, this is what it looks like. There's my leave out. I have just like a, the teeniest bit of leave out. And I use the Aragon Oil um like edge control thing on it so yeah i mean it doesn't look all that great but i mean for i didn't want to throw it out i didn't want to waste my money i wanted to at least get another wear out of it so um yeah anyways i hope you guys having a wonderful new year and all the best and love you guys